a very warm welcome one and all this is Kapow Gaming and I am your host Bergerac. Hello. Okay well before we even get going do you suffer from epilepsy? If the answer to that question is yes whatever you do do not watch this video and never ever play this game. Ever. I don't actually know where to even begin with this review. You're going to have to bear with me um, as I don't think I'm going to review a game which is as weird as this ever again. If you've just dropped a tab of acid, I can confirm you're not tripping your nuts off. This game actually exists. It's in the wild. The question is, should you go out and make a purchase? Amusingly referred to as an arcade bullet hell cute em up that's right, an arcade bullet hell cute em up Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Muchy Muchy Pork on the Xbox 360. Originally a Japanese arcade game developed by a company called Cave Interactive in 2007, it was ported across to the Xbox 360 in 2010 in a double packed game which also included a similarly messed up game called Pink Sweets. Two games in one, not bad, although please do bear in mind that both these games are very, very short. In this anime style craziness you have the choice of three playable characters, all of which happen to be overweight pig hybrid girls pedalling flying motorbikes in their underwear. Stay with me here people, stay with me. The bosses in the game are just as trippy, with the final boss aptly named General Pork Phillip. I know, don't ask. There are three types of attacks, the first is your normal bullets, the second one continues the meat based pun and is referred to as the lard attack, which is more of a powerful attack um, and it slows your character's movement a little, um, which assists with dodging bullets at a really important time. The final attack option is our dear old friend the bomb which does its usual destroy most things on the screen routine. It also turns the bullets on the screen into pigs which if you pick them up you get bonus points. There are other bonuses which allow for weapon power ups and upgrades and that only adds to the extreme anime style carnage being projected directly onto your eyeballs. Collecting medals is the objective of the game as a whole and these can be picked up by using the aforementioned lard attack to kill the enemies. By using the standard atta attack every enemy kill drops a parachuting pig and collecting these pigs builds up your lard meter and clocks up some serious pointage. To be honest there's actually not too much to this game. The bonkers mad plot is wafer thin and the gameplay mechanics are pretty standard fare to be honest, yet it's the vibrant presentation, the sheer scale and number of bullets on the screen at any one time and the relentless nature of the gameplay which makes for an unforgettable experience. This is true arcade gaming at its very best. The cutesy addictive music, colourful well designed enemies and satisfying gameplay make this an essential to any 360 collection. If you've got big bucks to spend then there is a cave collector's box set which includes this game Muchy Muchy Pork and other similarly absurdly balmy titles which come in a nice little bundle uh, but as I've said it is really expensive. We are all bombarded with the samey first person shooters and other soulless AAA titles which churn out the sequels year after year and they are just in fact variations on a theme. So what a breath of fresh air it is to take some time off playing Assassin's Creed or Call of Duty and let yourself be taken on a ride through the brain of some psychotic Japanese game developer. It's an experience you will not forget. This is the first cave game I've ever played but I'm hooked and I want more. Like wanting a second bacon sandwich on a hungover Sunday morning, I want more pork. This game is so much fun, get it in your life now. Like, comment, share and subscribe. 
Bergerac out.